Okay, this is just a, a brief history of creating image assets for online use um, for apps or the internet. So the first most popular program for creating uh, or editing images, which was Adobe Photoshop, and that was the before the World Wide Web or before images could be used online. And it was ideally to replace the traditional darkroom for so photographers to color correct their images, um, certainly make collages and all the stuff they would have done in the darkroom. So Adobe Photoshop, um, came around certainly in in the late 80s and you had version one um, from 1998 which was although quite a basic program was very powerful uh, and really drove how um, photographs were, were, were corrected and really replaced the darkroom so initially for many many years that's what photoshop did it you edited photographs and images for print out or for use in magazine or the print industry rather than them to be used as digital assets online now um, what happened was the internet took off and quickly then sometimes companies could catch up and certainly um, Adobe Photoshop did lag behind with that so um, a program that's still you can still get it if you've got creative cloud was um, fireworks now that was originally developed by macromedia which is a company that um, adobe um, took over in 2005 and macromedia designed fireworks totally for um, digital designers for designing stuff for websites for doing wire framing uh, and also creating assets that you could use in apps and websites now it was at the time you know, streets ahead of what adobe photoshop were offering uh, and certainly it was a very very popular choice um, for ui designers to use or, or web designers to use um, you could actually also make prototypes you can make clickable prototypes obviously it generated pretty horrendous code there were people who literally made websites and put them online there but ideally it was a prototyping tool very very popular for many many years and as i said before is adobe took them over in 2005 they didn't tend to do a much or anything with um fireworks once they bought it from macromedia and then we got to somewhere around 2013 and what what happened was um adobe decided not to continue developing it um, they were going to just do some security updates uh, on a regular basis but they weren't going to add any new features and that was just to support people who were using it so so a lot of people were very disappointed with that because they were looking for something um certainly that that they could use that was more lightweight than um and more targeted at ui design than photoshop could offer so they um stopped developing it and again um certainly um ui design and moved on so much anyway that what fireworks was offering was certainly lagging behind but certainly there, the, there was a gap um so what started to become popular once you know uh, fireworks sort of the, the demise of fireworks was um sketch um sketch app which is made by uh, bohemian coding um it came on the market it was um a lot cheaper than buying a creative cloud uh, monthly subscription initially you just bought it and, and you didn't have to update it but now they're changing over from a yearly subscription where you pay 99 dollars a year still ends up probably a lot cheaper than um, an adobe creative cloud um, subscription but what it does it, it's a very very um simple interface very very straightforward um just totally targeted on, on making ui design and um it became very popular now the, the only problem with it it was it's still it is and still is on apple mac and i don't think you know 
it'll be a long long time if ever that I think they will probably make it for Windows so that was fine because quite a lot of certainly developers or digital designers are using Apple Mac so that was fine but certainly if you're a PC user that 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 was an issue but it became very popular you now have lots of add-ons on there you have a craft plugin um, which helps you speed up your design process and also through that craft app which is a site like a plugin it's integrated with the envision prototyping app so you can actually create all your assets and push them up to envision and quickly make a prototype the, a, a couple of years back there was a, a possibility that you could make a prototype inside the application but it seems to be that they've moved when they've done collaboration certainly with with the envision company to more or less integrate um what what sketch does with um the envision online services so you create your assets and easily push them up and make your prototypes you can link things together um, but basically you can't really um make the total prototype in sketch which which there was some talk of that happening okay so sketch really easy to use very straightforward people love using it it's modern um you can export your assets and certainly it's very popular in development and web design and digital design now people still were using or still are using photoshop photoshop was a super popular program for certainly um, making design concepts that would then go up and be coded up given to to a developer which you know there are cases where people will still be using photoshop now the main issue with photoshop over the years it starts to try and do everything you can do video editing you can touch up photographs and you do lots of different things so it tries to cover that whole market with which has been an issue if you want to do design work bottom line with photoshop it's just for you know touching up correcting doing collages that sort of stuff rather than doing design work if you're going to do design work you either do it in something like illustrator or, or, or in design something like those rather than you doing design work in it what is a bitmap program which uses um pixel based images which again that has been fine for um, web design and app design because it's been pixel based but now things are moving on where people are using svg scalable graphic files which, which are not made of pixels so so really it, it struggled to fulfill a modern um, digital design or, or web design or development um, workflow so adobe have been experimenting with lots of different programs new programs and if you're a subscriber to um then you will see that they've they've certainly come up with programs and then you use them and then they stop running them but one of those um has been um what the adobe experience design or um xd now that is very very similar to in, in its interface to sketch if you're familiar with sketch and you start to use um the beta version of, of adobe experience design you'll find that lots of things are quite familiar in its layout it's minimal um, approach to doing the design work and also it's very intuitive you pick it up really quickly so adobe is sort of addressing the issues that that you know the bloatedness of photoshop in in a case of doing uh, ui design and also the demise of fireworks so that they've come up with something totally fresh now they're doing um this is in beta uh, and now it's the 29th of um, June 2017 that they're quickly working on it almost each month they, they come out with new updates if you subscribe to Adobe Creative Cloud you keep on getting those updates but um, the good thing about this if you don't um, subscribe to Adobe um, you, you pay the paid version you can have a free version of um, Creative Cloud so you would 
come along and set up the free version and that will allow you to download the uh, beta version uh, and also the good thing about Adobe XD is you can get it on Windows you will need to have Windows 10 um, to use it anything lower it won't work so if you, you are a Windows user you can download it and eventually when it when it's got the full version and they've fully developed it it'll be for Windows and PC which um, resolves the issue that you have with sketch so so yeah if you're not um, paying up for Adobe Creative uh, Cloud you can sign up for a free Creative Cloud um, um, subscription which is free and then you can download the beta version but that will probably only be the case you can do that until um, they, they've obviously done the full version and it's out of beta and it's out of testing and then you know you won't have that opportunity you'll have to have a paid subscription to get it now they started start developing it for the Apple Mac first and then they started developing it for Windows so if you are using the Windows version and you are seeing tutorials that's what I'm going to be doing in my set of tutorials is that you will find that it sort of lags behind and you can't do the same sort of things um, certainly in the Mac version than you can in the Windows version. The gap is tightening up and sort of getting less as time goes on and you develop it. Uh, the other frustration you certainly will get in using Adobe um, Experience Design if you're used to using um, something like sketch or even um, photoshop you'll find it's quite limited at the moment you won't be able to do lots of the design work in, in in the program you might have to go into sketch or photoshop to make assets and then import those assets in but again it's developing all the time okay so that's just give you a rough guide of where things are so it's a very interesting time to see what will happen certainly to do with um, the popularity of sketch although it's only for for um, Mac and then um, the speed of the development with um, Adobe XD and certainly how that's developing and where those things w w will match up but certainly it's worth a look um, one of the most powerful things about um, Adobe Experience Design is you can make prototypes within the application um, so instead of um, Sketch relying on the Envision app to push up the um, your screens and then um, make them interactive you make them interactive within um, Adobe XD you can record them you can which you can do with sketch but you can show what plug in a device and you can actually preview it on a device uh, and um, also you can use the Adobe Creative Cloud services of putting it online and making it available for people to test or to share it with other people or work collaboratively so it's worth a look certainly if you do have a subscription or if you don't at the moment when it's in beta but certainly it's good to play around with it but you need to know its limitations as it's being developed almost in like an agile process.